Hi there, Kent Larsen from Smart House Electric. What is a contactor? You'll find these in uh, definitely in your tanning equipment, but you find them in controls for industrial uh, machines and all kinds of stuff. And the reason is that these are a electronically controlled switch block. So they have like several switches that you can activate electrically. And so here you see it's saying A1 and A2. These, if you apply voltage to these, it will create an electromagnetic field inside of here that will, um, that will magnetize this, this bar and it will drag down to the bottom that way. So electrically you can activate this giant switch and make it change position and clunk go down. So let me take this off here, this dust cover. And you so simply what it will do once you apply voltage there is that it will pull this switch or this um, this electromagnetic field will drag this whole arrangement down. Okay this has to be um, you know depending on what kind of voltage you want to control it with you have to choose this contactor because it can't just work on all kinds of voltages so in this case here this is a very common one for tanning you see here it says 230 volts and it will work on either 50 or 60 Hertz so that means that when you apply 230 volts to our A1 and A2 this will come on down so what is important to know here uh, once we get into the switches which I'm going to be going into now and that is this position is called normally this is the normal function that's when we have no power to A1 and A2. So when you look here on top, you see NO and NC, and one means normally open and one normally closed. So let's bring in our gauge here. Let's bring it over here. So normally closed means that under this normal state here with no power on A1 and A2 we have a closed circuit see there that means that power can run through from one side to the other and once you engage this contactor see there it will breach and no longer be connected. So that's your normally closed function. The ones you will always have the most of on these is normally open. So that means that they are not connecting electricity in the normal state and the moment you engage it with on A1 and A2 with power and this goes down you will have connection and that's how it works on these down here in particular these are the main uh, contact surfaces of uh, your, your power and um, you have connection from 1 to 2 separated from 3 to 4 uh, so that this is a separate, so you can take your L1 from your power and and uh, breach that on a contactor like this and your L2 on this one, L3 and what you would use these contacts up here for is simply for some kind of control voltage uh, feedback or you can use that for uh, smaller things maybe a, 
a light that's indicating if uh, this contactor is engaged or not. So that's your basic contactor and what I want to say is that um, when you read the coil that when you see there's a frequency involved in this case here is 50 to 60 Hertz there you know that is AC alternating current but the moment you have a line a solid line and another line underneath there is uh, dotted you know that it's uh, it's DC voltage and so you will have 24 or 12 volt DC typically just just looking exactly like this so you really have to make sure your coil is matching the control voltage that you're going to be uh, engaging and disengaging this contactor with and of course there's the specs here on the side this is how much current this one can actually take so you see lots of different sizes of these contactors so keep an eye out for that look in the specs and and compare that to the ones that you're replacing if you're not replacing with the exact same model make sure that you have just as much capability of the one you're replacing it with because you can if it has the same the same um, order of uh, these uh, it has not the same order but if it has just as many of these contacts there's no problem in changing to another brand so this is it this is how uh, what is a you know this is what a contactor is and uh, how they work thank you for watching bye